Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first we will discuss binomial theorem. Expansion of a binomial for any positive integer n is given by a plus b whole to the power n is equal to n c zero multiplied by a to the power n plus n c one multiplied by a to the power n minus one multiplied by b plus n c two multiplied by a to the power n minus two multiplied by b to the power two plus and so on up to n c n minus one into a into b to the power n minus one plus n c n multiplied by b to the power n. Next we discuss Pascal's triangle. The coefficients of the expansions are arranged in an array this array is called pascal's triangle the expansion of binomials by pascal's triangle is a slightly lengthy process we know that the notation summation k goes from 0 to n n c k multiplied by a to the power n minus k into b to the power k stands for n c 0 into a to the power n into b to the power 0 plus n c 1 into a to the power n minus 1 into b to the power 1 plus and so on up to n c r into a to the power n minus r into b to the power r plus and so on up to n c n into a to the power n minus n into b to the power n where we have b to the power 0 is equal to 1 that is equal to a to the power n minus n and thus the theorem that is the binomial theorem can be stated as a plus b whole to the power n is equal to summation k goes from 0 to n n c k into a to the power n minus k into b to the power k. Then we have the coefficients n c r occurring in the binomial theorem are called the binomial coefficients And in the expansion of a plus b whole to the power n, there are n plus 1 terms, that is 1 more than the index. As you can observe in the expansion of a plus b whole to the power n, in the successive terms of the expansion, the index of a goes on decreasing by unity. That is, the index of a in the first term is n, then in the second term it's n minus 1, so it is decreasing by unity. And in the last term we have 0 as the index of A. And at the same time we have the index of B goes on increasing by unity. In the first term the index of B is 0. Then in the second term it's 1. In the third term it's 2. And in the last term it's N. Also we have in the expansion of A plus B whole to the power N sum of the indices of A and B is N in every term of the expansion. Like in the first term, as you can see, A has index N and B has index 0. So N plus 0 is N. Then again in the second term, A has index N minus 1 and B has index 1. N minus 1 plus 1 is N. So every term has the sum of indices of a and b as n. Now we shall consider some special cases like in the expansion of a plus b whole to the power n if we take a as x and b as minus y then we get 
x minus y whole to the power n is equal to n c zero into x to the power n minus n c one into x to the power n minus one into y plus n c two into x to the power n minus two into y to the power two plus and so on up to minus one to the power n into n c n into y to the power n. And when we take a as one and b as x, we get one plus x whole to the power n is equal to n c zero plus n c one into x plus n c two into x square plus and so on up to n c n into x to the power n. The next is when we take a as one and b as minus x. So we get one minus x whole to the power n is equal to n c zero minus n c one into x plus n c two into x square minus and so on plus minus one whole to the power n into n c n into x to the power n. Let's expand the expression one minus two x whole to the power five. This expression is of the kind when we take a as one and b as minus x. So, in this expansion, we will take x as two x and n as five. So, we have one minus two x whole to the power five is equal to five c zero minus five c one into two x plus five c two. Into 2x to the power 2 minus 5c3 into 2x to the power 3 plus 5c4 into 2x to the power 4 minus 5c5 into 2x to the power 5. So this comes out to be equal to 1 minus 10x plus 40x square. Minus 80x cube plus 80 into x to the power 4 minus 32 into x to the power 5. This is the expansion of the expression 1 minus 2x whole to the power 5. Now next we shall discuss general term in the expansion of a plus b whole to the power n. The general term of the expansion is denoted by T R plus one, and it is the R plus one th term of the expansion of A plus B whole to the power n, and we have T R plus one is equal to N C R. Into a to the power n minus r into b to the power r. Next, we discuss the middle term. If we have n is even, then middle term is given by n upon two plus one eighth term. And if we have n is odd. Then there will be two middle terms given by n plus one upon twoth term and n plus one upon two plus oneth term. These are the two middle terms when n is odd. Let's consider the same expression. One minus two x whole to the power five. Let's try and find out the second term of this binomial expansion. For this, we will take r equal to one. So we get t two, that is the second term, is equal to n c r. Now here we have n is five, five c one, since r is equal to one into A to the power n minus r. A is one, so one to the power five minus one 
into b which is minus 2x to the power r that is 1. So this is equal to 5 into minus 2x which is equal to minus 10x that is the second term of the expansion of this expression is minus 10x. Now here since we have n is equal to 5 which is odd so the middle terms of the expansion are given by n plus 1 that is 5 plus 1 upon 2th term and n plus 1 upon 2 plus 1th term. That is the third term and the fourth term of the expansion are the middle terms. We have already expanded the expression 1 minus 2x whole to the power 5 which is equal to 1 minus 10x plus 40x square minus 80x cube plus 80 into x to the power 4 minus 32 into x to the power 5. Now the third term in this expansion is this and the fourth term is this. So these two are the middle terms of the expansion. So this is how we find the middle terms of the expansion of a given expression. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of binomial theorem.